Hi everyone, this is Ms. Chrisman and this is your word study video for Wednesday, June 3rd. In our video today, we're going to continue learning about the really fun ways that you can have a good time, have some summer fun, and also keep growing your word study brain over the summer. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own game. But first, it's time for shout outs. I am so excited to give a shout out this morning to Amy in Johnson and Wales because Amy made an awesome word search from the video on Monday. If you haven't watched the video on Monday, you should go back and do that so you can learn how to make a word search. Amy made such an awesome word search that it even stumped her big brother. I'm going to show you a video, but I want to give her the shout out because I can just tell that everything that we're doing in these videos, Amy's getting so into it. She's growing her brain. She's working hard. She's having fun and she's bringing her whole family into the fun that she's having and the learning that she's doing. And it's just so exciting for me to watch and to know um, that these videos are making her brain get smarter. Check out how she stumped her brother. This is so hard to find shirt. Sure. Where is it? Nice. Good job, Amy. High five. <laughs> oh, never mind. I found it right here. The very last one you found. No, I and still have to find special mine. names in there. Amy and Dennis. I found Amy. It's right here. Amy Where's Dennis? Dennis? I don't know. Oh, I haven't even tried, Dennis. though. Hi, I, I put it on space. High five. I haven't tried really looking for it yet. Great now words. I'm going to try looking for it. Mm. What do her D's look like? Today we are going to make your own version of the game Memory. What you're going to need is a few pieces of paper, um, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. Go get those and then come right back so that we can get started. The first thing you're going to do is cut your paper into um, squares that are kind of like the size of playing cards. Um, so like little rectangles, I'm just cutting straight up the middle of the paper first. I put three pieces together um, so that it's faster and easier for me to cut. Um, so first I just cut straight up the middle like that. Now I'm going to cut this one in half and then in half again. I've cut paper a bunch of times, so I can do it kind of without making lines for myself or folding it or anything, but if you feel like it's a little bit tricky, you can fold it for yourself first um, so that it's a little bit easier. So you can go like this, and when you fold it, it makes a little line that you can know to cut on. See that line? And then I can cut right on that line, just like that. So I'm going to cut up my paper until I have a whole bunch of papers that look like these little cards, like I'm playing a card game. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what words I want to write on my cards. We've been working on heart words this week, so I'm just going to keep going with heart words. And what you need to do is um, put your cards into groups of two. And you're going to write every word that you write on each card two times. So for example, if I pick the word said, I'm gonna write S-A-I-D, and then I'm gonna write it one more time, S-A-I-D. So I have two cards that say the word said. Do you see that? I'm gonna do that with all of the rest of the heart words that I wanna use. Um, and then I'll show you how to play the game. So I want you to do the same thing. Pick which heart words you want to use and write them on your cards now. Okay, once you have all your cards, you're going to set them up face down so that you can't see what the words are on them. And the coolest thing about this game is that it's obviously more fun to play with somebody else because like, I think everything is more fun to do with somebody else. But if you don't have anybody to play with, you can play by yourself too. So you're gonna set up all of the cards face down. Then when it's your turn, you're going to flip over two cards. 
if the two cards match, then you get to keep them. You have to read them first, of course. Um, if the two cards don't match, then you flip them back over, but you have to try to remember what the words are that are there. So that on your next turn, when it's time to flip over two cards again, if you flip over the match to one of those cards, then you can remember where the other one to the pair is. I hope you have so much fun playing this game. Um, please send pictures and videos just like Amy did because I really want to see you guys play them. And um, I can't wait to see you get creative about the words that you use on these cards. They don't just have to be heart words. It can be anything in pairs of twos. So you can make animal cards and you can write the word zebra, zebra, lion, lion, tiger, tiger, bear, bear. Um, you can write your friends' names on them. You can even match like a first name and a last name so that you can match up a person if you want to um, play and remember your friends and think about them. Um, so I cannot wait to see the pictures and videos of you playing.